Hey guys! Hey guys! Look at this! Look at this! I did some shopping! I did some shopping! And I got some stuff! Let me show you the things that I bought! I sold some not important stuff, and I updated our um, charge attack, our guard breaker. I got this because it's just awesome. I set this. And I also got some stuff to fill in our combo, so we got that. That, that, that. Mock speed jab is very good. I just set elbow spin and mock speed jab. But yeah, we got some good stuff. Good stuff for us. Let's attack this one. They're usually the more powerful one. Although I don't know. Yeah, that should be the more powerful one. Ow, ow. Let's see? I blew her up with a barrel of explosives and it barely even quarters her health brings her health to a quarter. So, as you can tell, she's pretty powerful. EVIL POWERFUL! It's not a good, or, yeah, not a half bad combo. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It was probably somebody who was like, the ultimate combo. I am not the person, though. I don't know, the drunken moves, uh, I'll show it off right here. The drunken moves are funny, but I've never really used them to an extent. I think it could be pretty cool if somebody set up a combo made up entirely of just drunken attacks. I'd like to see that. If any of you have God Hand and would be willing to make a video like that, I'd like to see it. Because, um, I saw some clips of that one movie, Drunken Fist, or whatever it was called. Drunken Fighter. Drunken Warrior? I don't remember. Well, either way, it was a pretty funny scene that I saw from that movie. It was like a fight scene. It was very cool to watch. Just his stance was so stupid, but really funny. Or not stupid. You get the idea. It was pretty cool. That's what it reminds me of whenever I see the drunken attacks. Probably because that's what they were supposed to be reminding you of. They're very similar. Drunken Kung Fu! You need to drink, and then you kick people. Yes. The perfect idea. Usually one of those guys is supposed to turn into a demon. You know what? I'm just going to pick this up. I don't know why. It doesn't give me any money, and my god hand bar is mostly full, but... Hey, why the heck? Wh why the heck not? Why not the heck? The heck. The heck with it. The heck, why not? The heck? Kicky, punchy kick? Yeah. So, this is a relatively short level. Uh, we should be able to get the next one on. Um next level. There's a mini game on the next level, and I really like this mini game. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. See? That's all we needed to do. First we get a mini game, and then we get to fight a boss. Isn't that fancy? Don't you think that's fancy? I bet you do. And even if you don't, secretly, somewhere deep inside of you, you think it's fancy. You cannot deny the fanciness. Or maybe you're about ready to punch me in the face. I don't know. That'll be pretty fancy too, I think. So let's just destroy some crates. I'm gonna save any healing items because we've got some fighting to do and as much healing stuff as you can get, you want it. Cherry, not that good. Just lots of money. Boats filled with money, but not so much with fruit. We didn't have enough money to afford the citrus, but here's some money. Here's some money we could have used buying citrus fruit. God, so much money. Where am I going to spend this all? Oh yeah, in the shop, very fast. Anyways, talk to this dude. He needs medicine. There's not really a point in that, because you don't really ever... 
They don't mention it again. Switch on! This will bag you some money. Bag you some fancy monies. Except I didn't do that well in the first one. usually want to try and hit them at least three times, and that was terrible. I'm not doing very good at all. Not doing very well. If you know what I mean. Oh no. Oh no! Aliens! Wow! Aliens will get you lots of money. You got to love the aliens. The UFOs, you see. Give you nice bonuses. You! You must die! Now we get lots of money from that. We actually should have been paying attention to the pirate boat, because if you can kill that, you don't have to deal with this part right here, I think. At least that's what happened last time. Yep! We've got to fight some dudes now. See those dudes? we got to fight them! Fight those dudes. Oh, God. Hey, buddy. Don't be a jerk. He needs medicine for his daughter. I'll beat you up for it. I'll use this money to beat you up. I'll use this thing to beat you up better. This little thing called the God Hand. Tell you a story about a little thing called the God Hand. Just go listen to this radio and you'll you'll know the story. You shall know the story, you, you silly fool. Lamb. You shall know the imprint of my foot on your face. And you shall fear it like none other. My foot imprint on your face, and my fist imprint in your stomach. Then, only then, shall I be the ultimate warrior. And that killed him. Nice. Nice. Thank you for quoting me on that. Hey! Get off of that guy. Please get off of him so I can beat you up appropriately. Thank you. Thank you, you're so kind. You're so kind. Now, if you would please allow me to beat you up. Or you can jump into the water, that's good too. Oh, God. Fine, God Hand. Define God Hand, please. You know, I don't want to do it in this kind of an area, because it's kind of... Well, you know, just not very enclosed. It's very open, and I don't want to beat the crap out of that guy. Although I may just have beaten him up. I hope I didn't, because when you kill civilians, it's not good for your monies. Your bonuses, they shall suffer if they die. I think he might have died. I hope not, but there's a good chance. There you go. Full combo for us. You want more? Here's a mace. Oh, God. Throw at you. Just gotta throw that at him, at him and it'll do tons of damage. This is actually a pretty long stage. Probably not gonna get through the whole thing. Oh darn. And we got a cutscene, so. Yep. 
Tartar Dude! Alright, that should be good for now. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.